Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Home Makeup. Friends, in our today's video, we will be talking about this beautiful tropical flowering plant known as Tibicina. Now friends, there are more than 350 varieties of Tibicina out there, out of which Tibicina arviliana is the most popular one. And whatever I'll be talking today about this plant um, goes for all uh, the Tibuchina varieties. Um, so friends, this Tibuchina plant is also known as Brazilian glory tree. It's also known as princess flower tree, purple flower tree, spider flower tree. And why it's called Brazilian flower tree? Because this plant is native to South America, Brazil. Now friends, during this video, you might hear some sounds of cars coming and going and that's because this tree is right next to the road, so please don't mind that sound. Um, so this plant is uh, famous for its beautiful cluster of purple flowers, which blooms from early spring to late summer. These plants also come in many different shades of pink, white, purple, mauve and many other colors. Now the versatility of this plant makes this plant a popular landscaping plant because it can be grown as a big tree in, in your garden as well as a small bush. Now some of the dwarf varieties of Tibuchena can be grown in containers and pots as well and you can keep them in your patio, in any of uh, the places in your garden where uh, it receives shade and in beautiful bushes with the cluster of beautiful purple flowers, it really looks amazing. Now because of the purple color of these uh, flowers it attracts a lot of pollinators and if you grow this plant next to your veggie patch or your fruit trees it's going to be very much beneficial now friends let's get on to the care of this plant starting with the soil condition now these plants they like a slightly bit of an acidic soil just like azaleas and camellias and if your soil is alkaline you can add um, either soil acidifiers that you can find in the market or you can add some pine needles or peat moss into your soil to give uh, to make your soil a little bit acidic now if your if you have planted your uh, your uh, tibuchina directly into the ground then you don't uh, you just need to check the soil and probably add some uh, soil acidifiers but if you are growing them in pots and containers you can make a soil mix using peat moss compost perlite or pumice for better drainage um, mix all those ingredients well and use it as a potting mix because peat moss provides a little bit of that acidic um, acidity to the soil which is required for these plants. Make sure that the pot has got enough of drainage holes for excess of water to seep through. Now when we are talking about the water, let's talk about its watering needs. So friends, this plant need regular watering now because it's a tropical plant belonging to Brazil the tropics of Brazil so it needs regular watering but when I say regular watering it does not mean that you overwater your plant and kill it so regular watering means you check the topsoil before watering if the soil is moist leave it for a couple of more weeks and then check the soil again and water your plant if the topsoil is dry uh, do not overwater it because it can cause root rot and you can put a layer of mulch on top of the soil to keep it nice and moist. After watering, let's talk about fertilizing. So friends, you can fertilize your Tibuchina with a complete liquid fertilizer with the NPK ratio of 20-20-20. And uh, you can fertilize them during spring and summer season once monthly. You can also use the dry fertilizer. You can just spread it on top of the soil and as it decomposes, it will get absorbed into the soil that uh, you can do that as well now uh, sometimes there is always um, a question that my tibuchina is not blooming so now it could be because the soil is deficient of potassium or phosphorus so if your plant is struggling to bloom or you are not seeing any blooms on your plant use the complete liquid fertilizer as i said or you can um, use any fertilizer which is rich in potassium um, or phosphorus and you fertilize your plant and you will see the blooms in your uh, garden if your soil is rich in nitrogen you will see lots and lots of beautiful shiny green leaves on your plant but the blooming will not be there so try potassium and phosphorus fertilizer it will definitely help so next is the lighting conditions 
So as I told you earlier that Tibuchinas are tropical plants and they would prefer to be in a bright direct sunlight. They won't mind full sun. Um, they can also survive well in a shady condition like you, even if you keep them uh, in a pot under your patio or in a shade they would still survive. All they need is bright light. It could be indirect, it could be direct but they would still prefer bright light, warm and humid condition. Now next is temperature and humidity. Um, Tibuchinas, they are tropical plants and they love to be in warm and humid conditions. So anywhere temperature ranging between 22 to 35 degrees Celsius is the favorable temperature for these plants. And uh, But these plants can also withstand um, harsh frosty conditions as well. Now, I'm not sure how they do in areas where it really snows but here in Australia it does not slow snow but um, it's just that the winters get a little bit too frosty temperatures really go below five degrees Celsius but I have not seen much of the damage happening during winter season to these plants probably uh, yellowing of few leaves or falling over a few leaves and that's it as soon as the spring comes up this plant is back to life Last is the pest condition. So friends, these plants are susceptible to any sorts of houseplant pests. If you see any pest attack like spider mites, mealybugs, aphids, thrips, scales, or uh, nematodes, um, or any other sort of pest, neem oil solution is the best uh, pesticide that you can use. It's organic, it's biodegradable, it's safe for your plants and the environment. You can also use um, baking soda solution, hydrogen peroxide solution. I have made a separate video on them as well. I'll leave the link in the description box uh, for, for your reference. Um, yeah, that's it. Give your plant a good wash and use neem oil solution to get rid of those plant pests. Last but not the least, these plants are completely non-toxic, which makes them again a popular choice for every gardener. So friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you really liked it, please do give us a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informational videos. And we will see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.